What do you do, YouTube? Over the past 24 to 48 hours, Logan Ryan has been linked to the Miami Dolphins. Now, before I go any further, I just wanted to say, you know, it is crazy how, well, I guess we're going to have to get used to the fact that any New England Patriot, ex-New England Patriot or player ends up getting released, it's just going to automatically just get linked to the Miami Dolphins and Brian Flores. I'm just, we're just going to have to get used to it. it we're just going to be at the, they're just, everybody's just going to push us up to the top of the list as the number one candidate to get that particular specific specific player and looking at logan ryan i had i had we got to take a look at it because it's 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 looking like it's been reported excuse me it's been reported has came down to two teams the, the miami dolphins and the new york jets now i looked at the numbers logan ryan signed a three-year 30 million dollar contract with the tennessee titans back in 2017 now when you look at his 2019 numbers he had 105 sacks. That was that. When I looked at that number, I was like, "Yo, I'm sold. I'm sold." That's all. That's all I need to know right there. He had 104 tackles, 4.5 sacks, four four forced fumbles, and four interceptions. Like those those are some great numbers. Those are some great numbers for a corner, which kind of got me a little bit concerned. Like he played all 16 games. So why didn't he receive a contract earlier on in free agency? That's the big question. Now, it's obvious why the Tennessee Titans didn't bring him back because they have a lot of depth at the cornerback position. I believe they signed Adoree Jackson. Well, Adoree Jackson signed his fifth-year option. They have Malcolm, Malcolm Butler on the roster still. They had drafted a cornerback in the draft, if I'm not mistaken, so they're they're pretty good at corner. So I understand why the Tennessee Titans didn't bring him back. But why didn't any other team decide to bring Logan Ryan on early on in free agency? Maybe, maybe they wanted to measure his value because you know how I feel about nickel corners. You really can't. It's very very hard to judge a nickel corner. Just as how I feel about Bobby McCain, we went over this probably a million times already. That I'm not really a fan of Bobby McCain. I felt like he was extremely overpaid. But going back to the contract that Logan Ryan received in 2017 with a 30 million dollar contract, if we were to sit back and think about it now, he extremely over achieved his his that that contract. So I would think. He would have to get somewhere around what 15, maybe 20 million on average per year for for him. Four interceptions. That's a that's that's a nice number. A hundred over a hundred tackles, that's a nice number. Uh if we was to look at him as far as being a fit for the Miami Dolphins, he's a perfect fit. He's a perfect fit. But when you look at the Miami Dolphins corner well, defensive back depth. I had to highlight a couple of key players. Last year, Xavier Howe got put on injury reserve. To be quite honest with you, I thought Xavier Howe was not going to make it past the 2020 draft. I thought he was going to end up being some type of package in a trade with a team during the draft. It didn't end up being that way. We end up drafting Noah in Benogany, <laughs> trading our 26th pick to 30th to draft Noah in Benogany. He's a, said to be a nickel corner too as well, but I think he can end up playing on the outside too as well. Byron Jones, we end up signing him in free agency to a five-year, $82 million contract. At the time, that that seemed to be, well, that was the highest, makes him the highest paid corner. Nick Needham, to be honest, I wasn't really a fan of, what Nick, Need, of Nick Needham, but I respect him though, because he got his ass burnt last year but he held in there though he held his own he held his own so i'm expecting big things in 2020 eric rowe he ended up making the switch to safety but i wouldn't rule out the fact that he could play corner two as well bobby mccain if if if, if before we got byron byron jones in free agency and then somebody told me what Logan Ryan did for the Tennessee Titans, to be quite honest with you, I would have been like, I wouldn't even be thinking about Bobby McCain right now. I'd be like, Bobby McCain could go. Bobby McCain could go. I'm good with, with Logan Ryan because I'm locked and loaded. And last but not least, we got my boy, 
Cordell Tankersley, who I'm praying for every day, that he doesn't tear not another Achilles, doesn't break any bones for the 2020 season because I strongly believe this is going to be his last shot with the Miami Dolphins. And again, let's 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 put this in perspective. Because if we were if we was interested in Logan Ryan, think about it. We wouldn't have had to go out in free agency and sign Byron Jones to that big contract. And also, even if we did sign by even if we did sign Byron Jones and Logan Ryan before the draft, think of it this way. Why did we burn our first round pick on Noah in, in Benogany? Like it, that that's the part that doesn't add up to me. If 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 we was actually interested in Logan Ryan, why would we go out in a draft and get Noah in Benogany in the first round? Because we we went over this what three times already. If the Miami Dolphins, because honestly, I don't. I think I think. That fifth pick, okay. I, I, I'll side with the majority of you Miami Dolphins fan that wanted twenty uh, two at five. I'll side with you on that. But when it comes down to eighteen and twenty six, you spent the eighteenth pick on Austin Jackson. You know how I feel about Austin Jackson. If we would have had Logan Ryan on the roster, we wouldn't need an Owen Inganogany. We could have took the twenty sixth pick or the thirtieth pick and the eighteenth and twenty sixth pick and traded back down. And we could have got a Tristan Wirfs. I'm I'm stuck on that for real. I'm really stuck on that. But honestly, it's it's I I I have a huge pet peeve of wasted talent on a roster. And what I'm looking at right now on this Miami Dolphins current defensive backfield, as far as the cornerback position is concerned, we're looking really really deep. And I feel like this is going to have to be an opportunity we're going most definitely going to have to miss out on. Don't get me wrong. I love the numbers. 105 tackles, four, four and a half sacks, four forced fumbles, four interceptions. Those are some pretty good damn numbers right there. Those are some Rashad Jones numbers. But I'm sorry. We're going to have to take a pass. And I, 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 I think I'm going to have to watch it this year. I, I became a fan. But again, we may end up, at this point, Logan Ryan may end up having to take a contract where he's going to have to, it's going to have to be a one-year deal where we won't have to end up spending more than $10 million to have him on there for a year. Who knows? But let me know what you guys think. Uh, you know what it is. If you enjoyed the content, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. This is Great One DeVore. I'm up out of here.